Hi guys, wanted to come on here and do this quick video. Ah, haven't done this in a long time. Um, I got up, woke up feeling pretty inspired to come on here and do a quick makeup look. I've been posting a lot of um, past videos of makeup looks and stuff like that and I really miss it and I just kind of like lost myself there for a little bit and um, recently I just found myself um, trying to get back into makeup and stuff so I want to make it a goal to do some more looks it's something that I really really enjoy doing and I think it'll be good for me <laughs> um, yeah so we're going to go ahead and start before I start getting emotional on here. <laughs> I haven't been able to pick up the camera, honestly, to do videos like this. Um, so, um, but I know that after losing somebody and everything, um, it's really hard to get back into the groove and stuff. And for me, it's been like two years. Uh, I've been kind of really struggling with it and still am a little bit, but... Uh, I know that a lot of these videos actually helped me because it would get my mind off of things and stuff so yeah that's why I, I want to do them because I feel like it would help other people and yeah it's just makeup but also it kind of helps to put your mind on something else versus what you're actually feeling so we're gonna go ahead and start I went ahead and took out this um, palette that I've had for a while this is the cinnamon roll I mean cinnamon swirl palette by Too Faced I really love Too Faced um, eyeshadows. I know that they kind of sold the company and now I believe, I'm not sure if it's Estee Lauder that bought it out, um, but yeah. And then I have this one. This is an Am Amrezy, um palette. And these are the eyeshadows that are in here. Looks like this, okay. And I didn't even show you the other one. This is the cinnamon swirl one, and this is the eyeshadows that come in this one. Completely different, right? You got a lot of lights on this one, and you get a lot of darks in this one. And so that's why I kind of like pairing these, because you get a little bit of both. So, yeah. Um, the only thing is, I don't like that these are not very travel friendly, but I just leave them in my truck, or I just, you know, um, do my makeup here at home, and like that. Um, I've never really liked the small palettes that you would put like in your purse. The only thing I usually carry um, as far as like small things are like bronzers or like blushes and stuff like that. But anyway, okay, we're going to go ahead and start. I have no idea what we're going to do, honestly. I usually always like to coordinate my clothes to it. So I'm actually wearing this maroon little dress, okay has a little bit of like a light pink and I'm wearing some black leggings with it okay every time I'm gonna do a video I start getting calls and I start getting a bunch of interruptions so hopefully we can get through this um, my kids are probably gonna walk in in a little bit because they got to get their laptops for school for homeschool yeah and they're still doing that so okay I'm just grabbing a little sponge. I usually just carry these little wedges in my purse. I always use a new one. I just feel like it's better f for your face, just um, keeping any type of bacteria away from hands or stuff like that. So anyway, um, I used to use the color 122, and I, I did purchase it, but I actually moved up to 120. Um, I feel like... Um, this one's a little bit lighter and I feel like it matches me a little bit more but I do have the other one I just feel like I got a little bit lighter and I wasn't doing any of these videos also because I was breaking out for a while I don't know if it was stress or just hormonal and stuff finally my face is under control um, I've been using the Panoxyl cleanser and it's actually keeping my face super clear I started with the 10% went down to 4% only because I couldn't find the 10% um, up in Oklahoma when I went to go visit my sister. So um, I purchased the 4%, but it's been doing pretty good. But I still want to get back to the 10%, so yeah. Anyway, that's been really helping out. So if you guys are suffering from any hormonal breakouts or stress breakouts, 
that really helps. Okay, I never uh, moisturize my face because it seems to like always want to break me out. Um, I'll just moisturize at night um, and I don't put any primers because that breaks me out. I'm super sensitive so I go straight with foundation and I just don't do, yeah, I don't moisturize, I don't do any primers, I just go straight with foundation. So we're going to go ahead and start and just start with this one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 120. Okay, I used to use 122 and that would probably be fine with me too, but I'm just going to use the 120. So I just put some on here on my hand and hopefully that will be enough. Um, I try to have these makeup wedges all the time on me just to keep everything super sanitary and it just kind of helps um, keep everything super clean. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and start with this. And I know I haven't done makeup looks in a while, guys, so it's going to take me a little bit of practice to get back into the groove, but I'm trying, which is the most important part. So I just washed my face, so it's super clean right now. And hopefully you guys like the makeup look. I think it'll I think it'll come out good. So might need a little bit more foundation because I feel like the sponge kind of sucked it all in. Um, but I don't think we need a ton of foundation because we're working with a good um, slate, right? So, see how easy flawless that looks so I'm gonna put a little bit more just a tiny bit more it's because the sponge took it all but it's fine because if we need to clean up anything later on we'll just use the same sponge okay so we're gonna add a little bit more here just to make sure all our pores are nice and filled and covered Put a little bit of music on the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I put a little bit of music just so that I could have some noise in here because it was really, really quiet. Okay, so I'll do the eyes right here. And I'm just using the camera as my mirror, but I will be using my magnifying, magnified mirror in a little bit. So I could see that everything is nice and blended. I'm just going to drag it down a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to use my magnified mirror. This is, I believe, times 10, and if not, it's times 15. Okay. I got a little small... Uh, pigmentation right there from a previous um, spot and I got a little bit right here I don't know you can see that one that's one two and three so they're just tiny little pigmentations that have stayed but it's fine okay feel like everything is nice and covered there I was using the Maybelline um, rewind, age rewind concealer, but I really didn't like it. I thought I was going to like it. Everybody was hyping it up, but honestly, I didn't like it. So I'm not going to use that. I don't know if I have another concealer. I'll go check right now. I'm going to go ahead and use this right here just to kind of clean up the eyebrow area. Just to make sure I don't have any little, like, hairs that are going to kind of, like, bother me and just not make the look look nice. So I'm just going to kind of clean up. This one you can actually pick it up on Amazon. I know I picked this one up for my mom and for my um, sister-in-law. I think for my sister as well. These are really great. They're under $10 and they're just super easy to clean up. Any hairs that maybe you weren't able to tweeze. I never tweeze. This is what I use all the time it's just super easy and super quick and sometimes if you need to like trim any little hairs you can just trim them with this and you're pretty much done 
I'm just going to clean this up real quick. Like that. And if you have any little hairs that you want to trim real quick, you can with this. And it just is a really great little tool. Okay, so that's this little thing right here. I'll go ahead and check to see if I have, like I said, another concealer. But let me go ahead. No, you know what? Let me go get it right now. Hold on real quick. get a new one but I have this one it should be good this is from Rimmel I don't know when was the last time I used this but um, yeah I have this one from Rimmel and this one's actually really good to put on the lid just to get a really good bright area to work with and it just cancels all the discoloration on the eyes now I wouldn't recommend using this like on the lower part of your eye it's too much and for me it kind of like broke me out a little bit right here and I never break out there but I actually broke out um, from that area so I would just use it up here just to kind of have the eyeshadows grab onto something so you see how it cancels out all the discoloration and then you go ahead and do this side like this see how it cancels out everything but I just wouldn't use it on on the lower part honestly and I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows just because I feel like that's gonna shape everything so we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyebrows just to give them some shape and lately what I've been doing, what I kind of like doing, is just kind of uh, creating some little hairs right here. Like this. Like that. And then just kind of drag it this way. Like that. See how it gives a really pretty shape. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on the side. We're not going to do anything too crazy with the eyebrows. Just kind of trying to do more light makeup on my eyebrows. <laughs> not overall. Because I love color. And then just drag it over here. Like this. Okay, so then I kind of just measure right here and measure right here to make sure that they are quite um, equal. Like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then we're just going to do a little bit at the top. Like that. And then do this part at the top. Like this like that and then we're just gonna go ahead and fill in just a tiny bit not too crazy we don't want it to look too crazy like too much like that okay just a tiny bit more right here like that and I think I'm happy with that like this okay so I feel like the eyebrows look good I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like that if I feel like I need to blend them a little bit more I'll just you know just a tiny bit but I feel like they look good like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this area right here we don't want any creasing okay now I went ahead and took out this Jane Bronzer. I know you can't find this Jane Bronzer anymore. This one used to be sold at Bell's. 
I really like this one a lot. Um, it's got a little bit of a red tone to it. It's not, it's not a contour, that's for sure. This is more of a bronzer. Um, I like this one. I've been using this one a little bit um, more lately. I'm going to go and see if I can get another wedge. Let me get another wedge real quick. Hold on. Usually I like to use a brush, but all of my brushes are dirty right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it with a wedge. So I have these wedges. Wedges work just, just fine. You don't need to buy all these different types of things, brushes and stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this and this is the color that it shows okay and then we're just going to go ahead and apply it now before i was applying it right here on the hollow area of the cheek but i just started watching some more makeup looks and i feel that we can go up a little higher just so it makes us go up instead of making it look more droopy so i'm going to go ahead and put it up a little higher okay instead of putting it like right over here i'm going to go up a little bit higher Like that. Okay, and we're going to do the side. So instead of going here, I'm going up higher. Okay, like this. Like that. Like this. We're just going to make it, see how it makes it go up a little higher? And then we're just going to add, I'm going to take some more, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add it around the face just to give me some color because I'm so fair that I need some color. I need to bring in some color. So this is what I normally do. Kind of make it like, like leave a triangle here in this area. It's just going to kind of slim down the face. So I kind of concentrate more right here. Because my hair is going to cover that area anyway. So like that. And then I just bring some right here. Like that. Just add a little bit more. Just because of the lighting. Hopefully I don't look too crazy. That's why I like to do my makeup in the truck mostly. So I can see what I'm actually going to look like <laughs> instead of inside because then you really can't see what you're going to look like and sometimes your makeup can be a little crazy. Okay, we're going to add a little bit here just because I saw a video from JLo that says that she contours down here and I've never really done that but I'm going to do it. Hopefully it doesn't look all crazy. And if not, either way, I have this sponge that I have from the foundation, and we'll just clean it up. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more here. Okay, so the face is looking slimmer now. Okay, so I got it like that. And, okay, this is the blush that I normally use now. This is from Well People, and I got this one at JCPenney. Oh, I don't know, probably the beginning of the year or last year. I'm not really sure, but this is what it looks like. I already finished one of these in a different color, so this is um, the one I have left. Okay, I just take some on my finger, and it's like this, and we're just going to apply it here. Now, this one is kind of bright, but... If you just kind of blend it, you can do this with your finger, or I usually do it with the sponge, but I'm just going to show you that you could do it with your finger. So look at how pretty that looks. Okay. And then I'll do the other one with the sponge, just so you can see the different ways to apply it. This one does take a little bit more product on here because it's a sponge, and usually it soaks it up, so... This is what it looks like when you do it with the sponge. Okay. You can decide how you like to apply it. 
so it looks really pretty it looks really natural even though it looks a little bit darker on the on the tube okay so just gonna add a tiny bit more just for the camera and usually I like to set it with a powder blush but usually that powder blush that I like to use is from a five below little quad but my husband took the truck so I don't have that with me so I'm gonna have to grab a another blush but we'll wait hopefully I remember towards the very end okay so this is what the face looks like um, normally like on a daily basis I would just go with like this and then probably just a little bit of mascara and some light um, lip lipstick or something but today we're gonna play with some makeup so hopefully you guys um, will enjoy that okay so I have a few brushes here now for this you do need some brushes because uh, for eyeshadows you do need to blend a lot so I'll show you some of the um, brushes I have now you don't need to have all of these I just have them here and I just kind of want to show you what I have okay so I have these four brushes right here that you could use so I love this one from elf and this one is super cheap they used to be a dollar I think they're like two dollars now I'm not really sure haven't gone to go check but these are really really great and they're really great for the crease so definitely get you one of these this one's really really important this one I got from Amazon. I actually purchased it from my niece. She was selling like little makeup um, brushes. And so this one's actually really good for like adding um, eyeshadow all over the all over the lid and um, for transition. And this one's good for blending. This one is from Wet n Wild and this one is from Wet n Wild. Okay, so normally I don't use this one this much. I just had it in my uh, makeup bag. But usually like these three, you're good okay just with those three even with these two you do good okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and work with these brushes and first I need to pick the colors I want to use I have no idea I usually just go like I said and coordinate with whatever I'm wearing and that's what I go with okay so um, just because I haven't done a video in a while I'm gonna try to step up my game a little bit and hopefully you guys appreciate that okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one I really really love this color right here it's like a really pretty pink and I think I'm gonna go with some brown some maroon this maroon right here this is a really pretty maroon in the palette okay and then we can even add a little bit of black just because I'm wearing some black leggings and like I said I like to coordinate and then we'll just go from there I'm not really sure we'll just see I'll let you know what I change or what I add okay so we're gonna go ahead and take this brush right here because this is in this is the one I use to cover more surface I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up whatever I have here we have already put down our concealer and now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here which is this one okay and we're gonna go ahead and apply it tap off all the excess because if not you're going to have it down here okay so I'm going to move in a little bit closer here and I'm going to start applying it and you're going to see ah, did I tap into the wrong one yeah I tapped into the wrong one hold on guys okay sorry okay so we're going to go ahead and start with our transition shade here. We go and add it all the way up there. Remember to top off all the excess like this. Okay, so we have one side done. Let's go ahead and work on the other. Like 
This is a really, really pretty shade. I love this shade. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I am actually super blessed because I actually have a lot of room to work with in my eye area, and I love that. And I'm just going to take the sponge that I had before with the foundation, and I just kind of clean up right here. Okay, like that. And then we're going to go into, I really like this maroon shade, so I think we're going to go into this maroon shade. This one right here. It's a beautiful shade, and it kind of matches what I'm wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I already went ahead and added the light pink that's like on my dress. That's the light pink. And I'm going to do that really pretty burgundy shade. So for that one, I'm going to use this one. Because I really want to concentrate in the crease. Okay, so we're going to take some and we're going to go ahead and tap off the excess. And here we really need to concentrate, okay? We're going to concentrate in this area and we're going to go a little bit higher. And I don't really pick up any more product after that, I just kind of blend. And we're just going back and forth, back and forth. And then just concentrate it in that crease. Go in like this. And then go up with whatever's left on the brush. See? You see how pretty that looks? Okay. And do the other side. Okay. Go that way. And make sure you always tap off the excess. Okay, here we go. We're going to concentrate here. We're going to go in like this. And whatever you have left on the brush, kind of go up. Like this. And then just go back and forth. See how it's really pretty and blended. And I don't pick up any more product. I just go back and forth with whatever I have on the brush. I like my eyeshadows really blended. So I like to go back and forth. See? Like that. Okay, so now I kind of want to add some brown. I'm not wearing any brown, but I feel like it would make it pop a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and pick a really pretty brown. Now I have a lot of beautiful browns to work with, but I'm kind of looking at, I have all of these browns to work with, you see? On this palette, I have these really pretty browns right here. But when you're doing transitioning, you want to use a matte. So I have this brown right here, which I'm not really going for. I kind of like these two right here. And I kind of really like this one in this palette right here. It's also got like a little bit of a reddish tone to it. I kind of like it. But I think I'm going to go with, with this one. I'm hope, hopefully it looks good. Let me just, that's what the color looks like. So I think it'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And hopefully it looks really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and take the same brush. I'm not going to clean it or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and tap in here. Like this. And you see how a lot of it comes off. You want to take off all that excess. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and concentrate back in that crease right here. this. See how pretty that looks. Grab some more. I'm going to add some on the other side. Like that. And I'm not going to add any more product. Just whatever I have 
on my brush, I'm going to go up a little bit higher. I'm not going to go up high enough to cover the maroon I just added. I'm just going to go up a little bit, tiny bit higher than where the crease is. And it kind of makes it look like it's a black, but it's not a black. We're going to go back with some black. kind of makes a really pretty transition there. I'm going to add some more here. Bring it in a little bit like that. Okay, now we're going to go in with the black that I said I really wanted to add. I have a black in the Amrezy palette, which is this really dark black. I know it's a little crazy because it's during the day, but I just want to make it really pop in the in the crease. So we're going to go ahead and add that. We're just going to barely touch it. You can see the black in there. I'm barely going to touch it. I'm not going to add a lot of this. I just want to give it a little bit more dimension in here. So I'm barely, lightly going to touch. You can see that. Barely touching my lid. We're barely, barely touching it. We're going to go in there and do some more blending, but this is what it looks like from far away. I'm, I was just really, really up close. We're going to take this brush again from the very beginning, and we're going to go ahead and blend um, the top part to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Like this. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Like this. Like that. Like this. So see how pretty that looks? Okay, so I have a bunch of these glitters in the Amrezy palette, okay, and I kind of want to make it really glittery, so I have a few options here, and then we also have these really pretty bronze colors, but since we're doing um, the maroon, I don't want to do any gold, I feel like it would be too much, but I'll go ahead and show you this one, this one's really, really pretty, I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. This one's really calling out my name. I kind of like that one. See the difference between those two? And then this one's really, really pretty too. Okay, so I have those three to work with. Hmm. Look at those shades. Those are really, really pretty. So I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the one that my heart was actually calling out to, which is this one right here. Haven't ever used that shade in any makeup look, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for just for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add it on my finger, which is this right here. And we're going to go ahead and add it. I know it's a little crazy for during the day, but this is the only time I have to actually do the makeup look, guys. So. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add it like that, but then I'm going to take, and normally they don't apply good with, um, um, with, um, what do you call it? I'm going to have to get a brush in a little bit because a lot of this, um, glitter falls out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can apply it with the brush and hopefully it sticks. Okay. Because I need to get into that corner. Looks 
like. It's really pretty. It's just a little bit blinding because they do kind of get in your eyes. You've got to be careful. It would probably be better if you had like a glue or something that will make it just stay, but oh well. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Super, super pretty. Let me get a brush because I need to take off all this fallout because I can see them on my lids and I can see them on my cheeks. Hold on. Let me just take off all this. It just went all over. Maybe that wasn't a good idea, but it's really pretty. I just don't like that it goes all over your face. But this is the first time I'm using it, so it's a learning process. Good thing is the brush kind of just takes everything off. I just don't know. <sighs> Hopefully when I put the mascara, it'll kind of just calm down and it won't go everywhere. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use, but I have glitter all over me now. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and use this Voluminous Mascara. We're going to go ahead and add that. And I'm still going to add some color to the bottom of the eye area. I need to get a new mascara, guys. I don't think I have a makeup look like this. I haven't done one with um, these colors, so that's good. Turn on the little fan that I have, a little USB fan that I have, just so that it kind of dries faster. Hopefully the noise doesn't come out in the video. I'm just going to put it a little bit further away. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add some more mascara. few coats of this. This usually takes a while. And I usually combine my mascaras. I usually use one and then I add this one at the end, but this is the only one I have right now. So that's what that looks like. Always get the bottom lashes. that look at the bottom lashes the other day when we had gone to the mall just to walk around I hadn't been to a Sephora in a long time and my kids actually wanted to let me go in because usually when you're with kids they always want to do what they want well my teens they always want to go to like Hot Topic or they want to go to like all these places and stuff and I never really get to go and do what I want to do but this time they were so gracious and they said, Mom, do you want to go into Sephora? And I just saw so many things and I was like, oh, I miss this place. So yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and add some color to the bottom lashes. And I kind of feel like I'm missing a brush. And I know I had it in my purse. So let me go ahead and see if I can find it. It's like a really, really fine brush unless I took it out. I don't know. I'm always losing brushes. Don't know why. I don't know where they go. Let me see if I have one over here. Hold on, guys. I know I had that little makeup brush, but I just don't know what I did with it, or if I put it in my other little purse in my, um, actually no, it's right here. See, this little angled brush right here. 
We're going to go ahead and use this just so we can apply some color, but then we're going to smudge it with another um, brush. But I kind of want to add um, another color on here. So let me look at the palette real quick. And just because I want to make it pop a little bit more, I kind of want to go with this one. It's not really a matte shade. And I'm not really sure how it's going to look. If it's going to be too pink. But if it is, I can always add a little bit of the brown or the black to it. And then just kind of tone it down. So we'll see. I just want to make the eyes pop a little bit more. So hopefully it's not too, like, pink. But we'll see. Okay. So we're going to add this right here. Okay, I thought it was going to be a little bit brighter. It's, it's not too crazy. Like this. Just gives a little bit of something, see? And we're still going to add another shade on top to blend it. That glitter is just going everywhere. I hadn't used the glitter in the palette so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that again but <laughs> it's a cool look. Okay so I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a brown and a little bit of a black just to kind of um, add a little something to the bottom of the lid because I feel like it's a little boring. So we're going to add a little bit of brown over that. I think that looks better. A little bit of brown. I'm going to leave that little bit of pink right in the front just so they can see a little bit of a transition there. And then a little bit of black at the very end. Just, I'm just tapping it very lightly. Right here. Okay, so we're going from a black to a brown to a pink. I think that made a difference. I'm going to go back into this little angled brush and I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink at the front. Okay, like that. Now we're going to add a little bit of a pop of color to the very um, tear duct area. And I kind of really like this really pretty, I can barely see it, but it's really, really pretty. Can you see how it's going to look? I mean, it's pretty, but it's not so bright. So I'm going to add this one. I'm going to add another light shade. It's pretty, but I feel like it needs a little bit more pop. So I'm going to go into this color right here. And we're going to add it on top of that one and go up. We'll go ahead and add it like this. There we go. See how it's a little bit more bright? And we can go up higher and make it go that way. Okay, so I kind of like that. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to bring down my hair just to kind of get a little bit more of a, an effect. See what it's going to look like. I just dyed my hair like two days ago. Okay. I need to add, and I'm going to take this brush that I went ahead and put the glitter on, and I'm going to clean it off with the uh, towel that I have here. 
take off all the glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and add like a like a light color up here like a shimmery shade I don't know if I want to do shimmer or or a matte I do have a matte shade in the palette right here but I can also go into this shade which is kind of what I popped right here so I think I'm gonna just do the matte I'm gonna keep it safe I think it'd be a little bit too much I already have a lot of glitter on the lid I normally want a little bit of a smaller brush but it's fine we're gonna go ahead and reblend so it'll be it'll be fine usually want a smaller brush we're gonna go ahead and reblend so it's fine it's fine okay so you don't want to lose all your work so you go back with the same transition brush and just blend everything like that Okay, I'm going to tone down the light a little bit so you guys can see, because this is super bright. Okay, that's blue. Sorry. Hold on. So that's the light one. Mm. So that's no lighting. This is with light. And this is more of a yellowish color. So, I think the other one is actually a little bit better. You can probably see better. That's no lighting right there. But, okay, we'll just keep it like that. Okay, so I have some eyeliners that I can actually put. I have this gray one, this green one and like a purple plum color. I already have a lot of maroon going on and so I'm not going to do that one. I don't think I want to do the brown. I'm kind of like going towards this green. Not sure why but I kind of want this green on there. And I haven't really used it. You can see right here. So let me just go ahead and watch it. These are a little bit dry the only thing I don't like about them these I got I believe at Bell's kind of don't like that they're so dry because it kind of hurts when you put them on but it's what I got I bought a bunch from Urban Decay like a few years ago and I'm not sure where they're all at um, they should be in my makeup area but I don't know what I did with them, honestly. Ah, they're so dry. They always make my eyes water. So it might take me a little bit to apply these. Ah, it really hurts. That's the only thing I don't like about those. But they're really good um, as far as staying power. They don't really move. They don't really budge, see? See, it takes a... Like you really, really have to scrub. That's the only thing. They do last. But ah, they hurt. Okay. I feel like I need more mascara and I do need to do my lipstick. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you it off with the lights off in a little bit. So I have a few. Um, well, not a few. I have a lot of different lip products that I always carry in my purse. <sighs> yeah, I have a problem with lips. 
Okay, so I have a few from, I believe these are Milani's. These are Milani's. And then a lot of these other ones are pretty much wet and wild except for two NYX. Okay, so these are my favorite brands. So I have Milani, I have Wet n Wild, and then I have these two from NYX. These are really beautiful. I always wear them. These are like my daily staple. This is lip gloss, but this one I always like to use on its own, but these together are really pretty. Um, let's see. I have these, like I said, from Milani. These are really pretty shades. They're dark shades, and then these right here. Now, these I wasn't carrying, but my daughter had them in her purse, and she says I, I told her to hold them, but I don't remember that. But anyway, um, I have these, okay? So, I could do a maroon, but I don't, honestly think it would be too much maroon. But for the sake of the video, I could do it and kind of maybe mix it. I like to mix. So, I could do... I could do these two, which is kind of crazy, right? A maroon and then this one on top. And then maybe top it off with a lipstick, I mean a lip gloss, and just see how that goes. Just because I want to show you the two different shades, okay? So we're going to do this maroon one. haven't really used it. I think I probably just put it on for one video. So let me see what it's going to look like. I know it's too much. Too much maroon already. But you guys seem to like when I do something different. I always do uh, nudes. Nude lips. So that's the maroon lip. I just don't like wearing maroon lips because I just feel like it makes me look older. So I don't, I don't like to use them, but you guys seem to really like them in the pictures when I post them. So this is what the maroon looks like. And I just have to wait a little bit for it to dry so it doesn't mix with my other lipstick. And then I'll add the other one on top. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll add some more mascara because I do feel like I need some more mascara. So let me go ahead and add some more. Especially since I don't wear false lashes, I like to go over and over. So I have the effect of wearing lashes. And I think, guys, I think I need a little bit more just to kind of lift my eye a little bit because I feel like you kind of want to droop a little. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more right here of that maroon shade that we had added. Okay. Hold on. Let me clean off my brush. So I got some black on there and I don't want to mess up the look. So I'm just kind of taking this towel and kind of just cleaning it up. We're going to go into the maroon again. I'm going to top off all the excess because I don't want a lot on here. Okay, so we're going to go up here. And to kind of lift up the eye a little bit, we're going to go up here. See, so kind of like lifted it up. Sometimes I just like to go back into my eyeshadows and blend again. go into the brown again and bring it up so I feel like the brown kind of got lost
Okay. And then the last thing is, is just to use this brush again and just clean it up. Make sure everything is blended. And just blend it like this. See, there you go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mix uh, that peachy brown shade that I told you, this Milani, into this maroon. So this is the maroon color. You could do a maroon. Like, I'm wearing maroon, so I kind of, you know, like to coordinate my makeup. But now I'm going to add this one on top. Because I'm not really into maroon lips. And I kind of just switched it up. I think that one's prettier. And then I'll go to, I'm going to go ahead and top it off with this NYX um, lip gloss. And this lip combo should last all day. This is more of a pinky shade, the lip gloss. So kind of tones down all the maroon, but it's a really pretty shade when you combine them. I love combining lipsticks. that's what it looks like and just for camera purposes we're gonna add a little bit more bronzer but that's what the makeup look looks like and I hope you guys really liked it I really enjoyed doing it hopefully you guys enjoyed it like I said I just dyed my hair so it looks a lot shinier and it looks a lot prettier um, I don't have a lot of time to do my hair on camera but hopefully you guys enjoyed the makeup look I really enjoyed doing it um, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more bronzer just for the camera so you guys could see the colors nice and pretty. Whatever I need to tone off, tone down a little bit and <laughs> after I turn off the camera I will. But for right now, I just want to show you. I'm going to add this because we went ahead and cleaned up the eye area and it kind of lost the color that I had there. Okay, so that's what that looks like. The last part is I forgot to add a highlighter so I don't have one here with me. I usually carry it with me in the truck. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that same shade that we highlighted with right here. This eyeshadow right here. I'll just go ahead and take some on my finger and I'll go ahead and apply it right here. And that should act like a highlight. So you don't need to buy separate products guys. You know, it'll, you can do it with an eyeshadow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if what colors you liked, um, if you would actually wear this makeup look. Um, I have a lot of room to work with, so I'm pretty blessed that way. Um, I know a lot of people don't have the same eye shape as I do, but I kind of like to show you guys how you can apply the makeup. Um, but obviously it works different for everybody. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I'll just change the, take off the, the light so you guys can actually see what it would actually look like. This is inside. Okay, so it doesn't look as crazy. It looks really pretty and really doable. And... I'll take some pictures and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.